Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Develop your selfhood. Develop your selfhood. That, that's developing yourself, getting into yourself. Hey, look, I know there's a, we have a self-improvement summit coming up on uh, November 7th. You know, check with C-Boogie about it, see if we still have some space left. But, you know, let's be real. I know a lot of people, when uh, the first time C-Boogie announced the first self-improvement summit, people got into it and they like, oh, this new jumping on all this stuff. Now everybody talking about it, right? But I remember I've been on this all my life, right? And every man should be on that thing, you know, because we, we got so much. You know, we, we got so much. I mean, if anybody who listened to my uh, inspirational message yesterday, they realize, hey, 99.9% .9 of us are wearing a mask. And we've developed that mask very well. <laughs> Let's just be real. We developed that mask because that mask is so many factors. Part of it's coming from outside. Well, most of it's coming from outside of us. The culture, the religion, the power elites are putting that mask on us, and we just wearing it nice and happy. But that's not your selfhood. Your self is who you are without all that mask, without that mask being on you. And men got to develop themselves. Self-improvement is just developing yourself into the best version of yourself. And it ain't just to get some women. I know a lot of guys uh, come on this channel to hear about man gets woman, but shit, it's about developing yourself. The women that come along. Because remember what I say, the women are the commercial to your main program. You always got to remember, no matter what, I don't care what she got going on for you. She is the commercial. Your first deal is to fix the man in the mirror. So you got to develop your selfhood. And you know what? Here's the thing. That actually, that actually brings the woman to you because they are attracted to an authentic man. They find that because they want to get their mask off too. And if you're that type of man who's more authentic, more real, it allows them the freedom to be real. So that's a fringe benefit. And I'm going to say, I'm going to emphasize fringe benefit. You ain't doing it for the women. Like I said, that's a benefit of it, but you're, you're doing it for yourself. You're going to spend most of your time. Well, you're going to spend a hundred percent of your time with yourself. Even when somebody else is in the room with you. Even when a woman is in the bed with you, even when you're on a date, even when you're on a job, even when you're just walking, taking a walk, when you're working out, you're still with yourself. So you have to develop yourself as best as possible. You got to look within. You got to look within. You got to be the best. You, you have that mission within you. You already have that mission. You have your temperament within you. You got to develop it. Who are you? You got to say, what do you like? Not No, not what society tells you you should like. Not what that person say you should get into. Like one thing that will annoy me if somebody say you should do something, right? You know? No, nah. because usually when they say you should do something, usually when they say, I know I'm saying you should myself, but follow me on this. Usually when they say it, it's for them. I'm telling you, you should for yourself. You, you should be responsible for yourself. You should want to be the best for yourself because it means you live your best life. So you got to develop it. You know, when I talk about the body game, it ain't so much to get ladies. It ain't about so much about health. Oh, well, those are part of it. Or aesthetics or whatever. All those are important, but it's proud of being your best self because you got to be your best self on all levels. So developing yourself physically, developing yourself mentally, you want to be as smart as you can. You know, you want to know stuff, you know. You want to know about the world, but before you can even know that, you need to know yourself. You need to know your tendencies and own that. You need to know what you're good at and own that. You need to know what you're not good at, and if it benefits you, try to get good at it. If it benefits you. If it's something that you don't need for your life, don't worry about it. But if it's something that you could use, do it. And I would say, honestly, I would say try to get as good or good 
first and then great as is in as many things as possible. Only thing I would say is focus on one thing at a time, right? Focus, master one thing at a time. But you always want to keep keep growing. What do I usually say on a lot of my videos, especially on my Deep Thought channel? Rise and transform. You want to always rise and transform. You want to develop yourself. You want to develop it. You know what? I know people, they'll come on here, they'll listen to me, they'll listen to guys they refer to as dating coaches or motivators. But the work is with you. The work is with you because you know you. You got to be the expert of yourself. You know, I'm just throwing out different, I'm just throwing out general things. You know, you have to apply it. Some of the things I throw out, it might not apply to you. You might not need to do that. But then you might need to do something else. And then you want to be inspired to the point that you're doing some things that I might not have talked about. Because it's you. Remember, I don't know who you are personally. Even if you do a, a consultation session with me, even if we, we talk, we can do all that stuff, at the end of the day, it's still you. You got to develop your selfhood. This is very key. This is very key. I can't emphasize this enough. I really can't. I can't emphasize this enough because you have to, you, you got to be the best version of yourself. Yourself. Not what Ram wants. Not what the power elite wants. Not what your parents want. You know, yourself. Ultimately, you're responsible for yourself. The most anybody outside of you can do is help you. Not direct you, not guide you, but help you, assist you. That's the most. But ultimately, they're still on the outside of you. You got to do the work. You got to do the work. Nobody else can do it for you. Nobody else can show you. You got to do it. You got to face it. And it's tough. No, let's be real. It's tough because you got to fight through so much. You got to fight through that mask. You know, you got to discover within. And it's challenging. It ain't, it's not an easy thing. But it's worth it. The journey itself is worth it. And you want to stay on that journey for your entire life. You know, and when people ask about, you know, I, Ask me about myself. I tell them I'm a work in progress. Everybody's got to be a work in progress. That work in progress starts until it, it will go into the day I transition. I'll be a 99-year-old man somewhere trying to take a class or <laughs> reading a book on something. Seriously. So develop your selfhood. Very important. Anyway, y'all, y'all have a good night. <laughs> good night. Good day now. <laughs> Peace and blessings. <laughs>